Camelness has been a kind of complex issue in many of our lives. In the name of modernism, we have continued to renunciate and, and, and uh, renounce rather uh, the Tamilness, the affiliation to the Tamilness. And sadly, this is um, something which we don't desire, but is happening. Tamil is surviving in pockets and in great little pockets, unfortunately not large enough. It is strange when you think about the fact that Tamil being and recognized as the, the oldest language in the world is being celebrated in Canada, in, 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 in the UK, in various other countries, it's celebrated as one of the greatest classical languages. There are chairs at the universities in Canada, at Oxford, and a few other places. And yet, sadly, here, we Tamarans, we Tamilians, in the context of our existence in this country, we are beginning to dilute our Tamar existence. Because there's a fallacy sometimes that we cannot coexist our Easternism with our Westernism, and there's nothing further from the truth. There are many people that succeed who are as adept in the English world as they are in the Tamil world. So please remove this fallacy. It does not have to dilute your potential for success in an English world. I know the English world is where we survive, but your affiliation and your embracing of this beautiful culture does not have to dilute your success in the Western world. Please give that some thought. Sadly, in the name of, as I said, in the name of modernism and many people who, you know, the, especially the wealthier and the relatively more educated, seem to find a way of being either apathetic or being philosophical about why they should not embrace Tamil. Understandably, we cannot continue speaking Tamil the way we'd love to, although I said it's spoken in pockets because many people don't speak it. But the Tamil culture should be sacrosanct in all our lives. We should be able to be proud. And one way in which to demonstrate this pride of being Tamil, that's the heritage that we've got to secure. And this one way of being proud, proudly Tamil, is whenever you greet people, greet them with vanakkam. It's not a religious greeting. It's a Tamil greeting. It's so profound. Vanakkam. And the next time, from now onwards, please, do something which many people in India do, sadly not much in South Africa, especially with South Indians. When you meet your grandnies and your grandfathers, when you go and meet your great, the older people, go and touch their feet with your one hand, not your two hands, with your one hand. That is the respect that says, I love you. That is the respect that, I say, that says, thank you for giving us or, or, or providing this heritage which we continue today. Tamar heritage. So we need, to, we need to resuscitate this greatness and this feeling of greatness of being Tamar. Don't be shy. And as the Tamarans will say, we need to re, re, resuscitate Tamar Perume, Tamil pride. Tamara, Tamara, Nalinam, Nalin. Tamara, Tamara, Nadum, Nam, Nadin. Tamara, Tamara, Nalinam, Nalin. Tamara, Tamara, Nadum, Nam, Nadin. Tamara, Tamara, Nadum, Nam, Nadim. 